So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak has officially launched and I'm here to give you guys a quick little tutorial video on how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPod, or iPad. And yeah, I'm very, very excited for this. I've been waiting for a jailbreak for a long time. Ever since the iPhone 10 came out, I wanted to jailbreak, get that dark mode, have all my functionality, and have the actual battery percentage on the top, right, as you guys can see there, without actually swiping down there. But we're gonna jailbreak this bad boy. Keep in mind, jailbreaking will void your Apple warranty, so keep that in mind. Just something to really point out. First off, I'm gonna show you guys how to jailbreak without a computer. First things first, you will need to open up your Safari app and you will need to tap in the link in the description. So that is this site right here. What you gotta do is just tap on it and it'll, it's gonna take you there. Make sure you're on the Safari app and you gotta tap on download. Now this is a app called Tweakbox. I gotta say it's a really, really nice tweak because you can supercharge your apps. Um, so you have Instagram plus plus, YouTube plus plus, all that fun little stuff. And then it's gonna fully install. Once you tap on that, um, everything, well, I'm surprised it didn't ask me to allow anything. Um, but if you do get that little prompt on your screen, you just go into the settings, general. Um, so let me let me just do it for you guys. Settings, general, and you got to go all the way down into profiles, and you want to be able to um, verify that app. So, yeah, it didn't ask me. Uh, maybe I already verified it already, and you just go back into the app. It looks confusing, but once you do everything, it is very, very simple. Now, you want to quit that ad. Oh, my God. And once you tap on apps, you got to look for, uh, where is this? Tweetbox app. And you want to type in Electra. You don't have to type in the full thing, too. It just comes up right there. You want to be able to download the multipath one because people find more success with the multipath version. And once you tap on install, we tap and install again and then you will have the Electra app. Now this doesn't mean you're jailbroken. You will need to, where is that app? Oh, there it is. Uh, you will need to actually tap on the app. Well, you're gonna have to verify it, of course. So let me go into my settings, general profile, and you wanna be able to verify or trust that app. So it seems like there's a lot of steps, but trust me, it's very, very easy. And then now when you go back into the Electra, you will be able to jailbreak. Once you tap on jailbreak, you should be good to go. And once you fully did everything, this is very, very simple. You just tap on jailbreak. And before you even do anything, you want to definitely uh, do a couple of steps. So first things first, you will need to disable Siri. So I'm going to go all the way back. Let me make sure I'm into focus. That always happens to me. Go into the Siri. So settings, Siri, and search. And you want to definitely disable Siri. I think my, oh, I'm on low power mode. So I'm going to disable Siri. Turn off Siri. Some people log out of their iCloud account. Um, you don't really have to. And once you disable Siri, you want to reboot your device. To do that on the iPhone 10, it's volume up and it's the side button together. And you slide the power down and you want to reboot your device. I know a lot of people don't really reboot their device often, but to improve the success rate of the jailbreak, you will need to restart your device. You want to enable airplane mode. Another thing too you can do guys to improve the success rate, um, you go into settings, general, and you wanna go into your iPhone storage. Uh, where is it? iPhone storage, but you wanna delete iOS 11.4, and that may help to improve the success rate. And once you perform all those steps, launch the Electra jailbreak and tap on jailbreak. All right, so let me focus that in, that beautiful jailbreak button, and then wait for the magic. Okay, so um, let's see if City is there. Insidia is not there. Alright guys, so one day later, I successfully jailbroke my iPhone 10. So here's what I did to jailbreak my iPhone 10. 100% success rate, I must say. Um, I'm going to throw this link in the description. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's, it's nothing like that. I just throw this link in the description. It's one of the advertisements. Um, so this site right here, it actually um, gave me the jailbreak. So... Um, it's the same thing, the same exact thing, it's the Electra, you tap on the Electra, you tap the link in the description, you tap on the Electra, and you tap on MP. So I tap on that, and then you're going to have this prompt right here, it's going to say install, okay, I already installed it on my device, and it should come up right here. So I deleted the old tweak from the tweak box one, and I launch it up, 
And then uh, the jailbreak is enabled right now, I believe so. I have Cydia right here. Of course, follow the same steps. So make sure you have airplane mode turned on, turn off Siri. And also you wanna definitely make sure you don't have any future software updates installed on your, onto your device. So follow those steps, give it a couple of tries, maybe one or two tries. I, I got it on my second try. The first try, it failed on me. The second try, I have Cydia working on my device. And guys, this is Cydia running on my iPhone 10. So now since we successfully jailbroken our device, here are some of the tweaks that I like to install first. First up, right away, is swipe selection. Now swipe selection is gonna basically have you move the cursor without using 3D touch. This could be very, very handy if you don't have a 3D touch enabled device. So um, swipe selection, I'm gonna install that. Okay, we're gonna continue to queue. That's the first tweak I like to install. The second tweak I like to install is Zeppelin. Um, basically, you change the carrier logo. iPhone 10 is so much different because you don't have your carrier on the side no more. But if you swipe down here, you do have it. But I'm just curious to see how it's going to function. Um, another tweak too that I like to install is called New Keys. It's going to change your keyboard, get rid of all the um, the borders around each key. It's going to look so much better. Um, so I'm going to install that. Another thing too I like to always install is Swipe for More. Um, this is really a city of tweak. Swipe for More. And basically, I'm going to show you guys that in a little bit. And for the last tweak, I want to install Eclipse 10, which is probably one of the main reasons why I love the jailbreak. Dark mode. We've been asking for a dark mode for the last three iOSs ago. So um, you, now you can do that with the jailbreak. But hey, look, you have to purchase the tweak. And I'm going to show you guys how to buy tweaks. Very, very simple. Very, very safe. So now a tweak like this, you tap on purchase. It's only $1. It's going to redirect you to this. And it's a PayPal site. And then I believe I purchased the tweak. And now you can link via Cydia, link device. There's like a little button here. And trust me, this is 100% safe. I've been jailbroken for the last X amount of years. Pretty sure it is purchased now. So now let's search it up. We should be able to install it. And I think we are good to go. Damn, you guys can't see. I got to keep in focus of this thing. And then now once you install everything, before I was tapping in, continue queuing. But now we are completely done. Now we can confirm to install everything. And once everything is completed, you tap on Restart Springboard. Nothing to worry about with the jailbreak whatsoever. I know Apple said that whole statement just to scare you, but trust me, this jailbreak is amazing. So now, it is, um, it is installed. So now let's go into my settings. And now everything is down here, down below. So as you guys can see, Zeppelin is installed. Basically, you could change your, um, your carry logo there. So now you can have a carrier text. So you can have, have it say anything. So you, now you can customize that. See, as you guys can see there, it has changed. And this is new keys. It looks so much sleeker than the stock keyboard. I love new keys so much. This is like a staple. Especially right now on the iPhone 10, you need this. Um, so let me make sure I uh, uh, show separators. We don't need that. Make sure the colors is set. Night, okay. We, we even have a midnight, so we can make it even darker. And before you even do anything, you gotta make sure it's enabled. So we're gonna enable the settings app since we're here. Okay, settings is here. Safari. I can even show you guys. Um, yeah, we're gonna just do those for now. And we're gonna close out all the apps. And then now let's go into the, and now look, voila. Right there. Beautiful, beautiful beautiful and this will save battery life man this is amazing why can't apple do this man this is so much better and i can enable it for instagram so i can have a nice little dark mode for my instagram application we're going to do that right now so instagram let's turn that on of course we're going to look for my instagram app and now look, my Instagram is dark. <laughs> Holy crap, this is amazing. I love jailbreaking my device. It's definitely one of my favorites. And yeah, highly recommend it, guys. I forgot to show you guys, swipe for more. All it is, once you go into Cydia, where's Cydia? I'm gonna move my Cydia icon. Now with swipe for more, all you gotta do is just slide your finger and you could queue up the tweak like that and then you can move on to the next tweak. So it saves you a couple of taps other than tapping on the tweak then tap it on modify, then tap it on install, then going back, going back again, and then searching up for your next tweak. 
So that's pretty much it. I don't want to make this video too long. I'm definitely going to install more tweaks. And yeah, thank God for the jailbreak. Thank you, Coolstar, for jailbreaking the iOS devices. Definitely much props to uh, Coolstar for jailbreaking our devices or, you know, releasing the exploits. All right, guys, if you guys did find this video helpful, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new for more jailbreak and Apple related videos. Share this video with your friends and comment down below what you guys think. All right, guys, until next time. Peace.